Howdy my totally tubular gamers. So, it is now 2022. 2021 is gone. It's dead and buried. It's over. It happened. Eventful, I guess. I mean, it wasn't as eventful as 2020 for better and worse, but it happened. Now, one thing I did do in 2021, though, was played video games. I played a lot of video games. I finished a ton of video games, more than anyone probably should when it comes to playing and finishing video games. I finished the most in 2021 that I finished in my entire life. To take it a step back further, in 2020, I really decided that I was going to take a serious stab at my backlog. See, over the last like decade and a half at this point, I've accumulated thousands of video games. That is not an exaggeration. Just through Steam sales or gifts or buying them or whatever it is, I've just got a ton of video games. And I have not played, let alone finished, hundreds, hundreds of them. And I was like, I've been sitting on these games for a long time. How about I actually play through them? And so in 2020, I made a really conscious effort to actually tackle my backlog and finish a lot of games. And I was able to finish 101 games in 2020. I kept a nice little log and logged everything of when I finished it. I tried to finish a game every single week. I didn't have to start it that week. I just had to finish a game that week. And I actually made a video about it titled Conquering the Backlog 5 Tips and Tricks I Had for You to Finish 101 Games in a Year. And so really here's part two or a remix of conquering the backlog. Five more tips and tricks I got for you to conquering that backlog with all those games on it. In 2021, I played so many games and I kept a log of all of them. I was able to play through, finish, not like 100% complete, just finish, see the credits, 126 games. Yes, 126 games in one year. That is insane. I know that's insane. That is more than any normal human being should ever do. I didn't think I would get even anywhere near close to that number, but that's how many games I finished. I kept a log. I'm showing it right now. Here's the log. I'm also totally insane and tubular, but that much is obvious already. So with that in mind, I thought that I would be pretty qualified to give some tips and tricks on anyone who just wants to finish some games in their backlog, because that's really how I felt last year was I'm going to continue to take this big stab at that backlog of games and actually get some shit done. In 2020, I tried to finish a game every single week. Uh, there were a couple weeks I got stressful. It was Saturday night. I hadn't finished anything, and so I decided, let me change that up a bit. I'm going to try to finish five to six games a month. I think that's a lot more manageable because there were a lot of weeks where I'd finish two, maybe three games that week, and the next week I wouldn't finish like anything. So I think five to six games a month was a lot more manageable. But it's pretty clear I finished more than five or six games a month last year, minus a few months here and there. But yeah, I went pretty insane, pretty sicko mode, pretty psycho, whatever you want to call it. I finished just a ton of games. Anyway, enough reflecting on last year. Let's go over those five tips and tricks I got for you. Tip number one, actually finish the game. I know you might think this is super obvious, duh, finish the game. It might not be as obvious as you think. I was really shocked with myself how many games I've started or how many games I've played just a couple hours of and just dropped and never come back to them, never finish them, go on and do something else, play something else. And I know a ton of people that have done the same thing where they get a certain point in the game, they don't like it, they drop it, they get to the final boss, they don't want to grind, they drop it. Or maybe they played like an hour or two and it just didn't resonate with them and they said I'll come back later and it's been 10 years and they still haven't finished the game. And that's really the first tip is to actually go back and finish the game. I had a couple games that I'd started weeks, months, years even, and just never finished them for whatever reason. And I came back to them in 2021 and was like, how about I actually finish this? And then I would actually finish it and was like, huh, I wonder why I didn't finish it after all this time. And I know a lot of people leave stuff hanging for whatever reason. So my advice is look through your backlog and look at the ones you've actually started or maybe played a bit of or maybe even gotten really far in the game and dropped for whatever reason and go back to them. Finish them. Finish it up. Get it done. Tip number two. Keep it varied. Now I brought something up similar to this in the last Conquering the Backlog video, but I'm really doubling down on it this time. It is incredibly easy to be burnt out on video games when you play a ton of video games. 
But there are a few ways to remedy this, and I think the best way is to keep it varied. Play different styles of games, play different genres of games, play games that are from different companies. Don't play a bunch of open world games in a row. Don't play a bunch of games by Ubisoft in a row. Don't play a bunch of racing games in a row. Split it up. Play different games of different genres, different companies. Just mix it up as much as possible. Keep it incredibly varied. Or it's going to feel stale, it might feel repetitive, it might even get boring and you might get burnt out, which is the last thing we want. It's pretty obvious, but a lot of games share gameplay elements, design philosophies, etc, etc, and some games even look similar. So really, you want to keep things varied because if you play a bunch of games that are all very similar to each other, they might start to blend, or worse, they might start getting stale and then you might get burnt out. So I recommend jumping between a bunch of different genres, style of game, maybe even developer if you need to. If your backlog is even a third as big as mine, I am sure there are dozens, dozens of styles of games in that backlog that you could play from. Don't play a bunch of first person shooters back to back. Don't play a bunch of open world games back to back. Don't play a bunch of racing games back to back. Don't play a bunch of games by Ubisoft back to back. After you finish a game, let it simmer a little bit. Don't immediately go on to the next game in the series or another game that's like identical to it. Let's just use, uh, I don't know, Fallout as an example. When you finish Fallout 3, don't go to New Vegas immediately. Give it a little bit of time. Let it simmer. Let it sit with you. Play something else that's different for even just a little bit, even a day. That's all you need. Just not back to back. Doing it back to back, it's going to feel very similar. And there's a really good chance that it will just kind of blend in. You want to get a unique experience from the game, and it's a lot harder to do that if you play a bunch of games that are super similar to each other in a short span of time. Like, it's just how it's going to be. The human mind's going to make connections and go, oh, it's just like this, it's just like that, and it, that's just not a good idea. So I tried to keep things as varied as possible so I would never get bored or burnt out or feel like games were blending. Tip number three, stop buying games. I know this one also probably sounds really obvious, but I am incredibly guilty of this. I am just a monster. I can't stop buying games. I see a good deal, and I pretty much just swoop in on it, and now I have another game that I've added to the backlog almost immediately. Stop buying games. Only buy games that you think you're going to play sooner than later, because there are a bunch of games that I have bought over the years where I go... Oh, this is a good deal. I want to play this eventually. Yeah, I'll get to it eventually. And I just buy it and put it on the backlog immediately. And it's like, why did you buy it then if you're not going to play it? And there are a couple games now that I bought and was like, yeah, I'll get to this eventually. And that eventually is still not here. It's been over 10 years now and I still have not played the game. When am I going to play the game? Why did I buy this? And then why did I even put it on the backlog if I was never going to play it? I've had some of these games like half, more than half of my life of me saying, oh, I'll play it eventually. When am I going to play it? It's just, it just never ends. And I'm very, very guilty of it. I've tried my best to stop. There were a couple times last year where I was able to stop. But for every time I was able to stop, there was like two or three times where I was just like, oh, that's a good deal. Oh, I want that. Oh, yeah, I'll play that eventually. And I ended up buying them. And then like immediately after go like, what the hell? Why did I just buy that? When am I going to play this? And it's nice to have that mentality of like, yeah, I'll get to it eventually, or I'll play them eventually, but it's just like, when is eventually? Like, when you're dead? I mean, people don't live forever. Life is limited. Our time on Earth is not the longest. When are you going to play this? And so that's why my tip really is to just only buy a game when you're going to play it sooner than later. Don't buy a game and put it on the backlog immediately. It's probably not a great idea. It's what I've been doing all these years, and now we're going on 10 plus years that I've had some of these games, and I'll get to them eventually. Yeah. Right. Tip number four, be selective, be picky, and know what you like. Piggybacking off not buying every game that's on sale, buy games that you know you're gonna like. Buy something you're interested in. Do some research. Don't willy-nilly buy a bunch of games because you heard something nice about it, then you play it and you don't like it, or you decide that it's too long or whatever. Only buy what you think you're gonna like. That much is, again, seems pretty obvious, but I can't tell you how many games I bought and just go, why did I buy this? I don't even like this. And then on top of that, be picky with what games you fully complete, what you just play through, and what you might just rush through. If you're lo 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 loving a game, go ahead, play all the side quests, do everything, get the collectibles, 
play everything. See as much of the game as you can if you're really enjoying it. But if you're really not, or it just kind of feels like a drag, or you're just not all up for it, just play through the main story and that's it. Be selective. Don't complete a game 100% or don't do like all the side quests just because that's what you usually do in a game. Only do it for the games you like and the only games that you feel are worth it. Not every game is worth it. Everyone's tastes are different. So next time you go, oh, I'll just 100% this Lego game because I've 100%ed all the other Lego games. Well, what if you don't like this Lego game as much? Why would you want 100% it? Just finish the Lego game and be done with it. Go on to one that you think deserves for you to 100%. Just be selective about what you're going to 100% or play through or what you're going to do more than is necessary to just get the credits. And tip number five, the most obvious one, have fun. Despite what investors and stupid companies think, video games should be fun and not a job. This should be enjoyable all the way through and the moment you're not having fun is the moment you're doing something wrong. And all I can recommend is the tips I gave last year and the tips I've given this year of how to make it still fun for you. And just enjoy yourself. These are video games. You're supposed to escape into another world and have a good time and do something different. And so to anybody who's trying to finish games on the backlog, I hope this was even a little helpful. I hope that you're able to also finish some games in the future. And, you know, let me know in the comments some of the strategies you people use for finishing a bunch of games. I'd love to read it. I always love reading the comments. And I guess the next question would be, what about 2022? How many games are you going to finish? What's your strategy? Well... Uh, there's probably I'm probably not gonna play through as many games as I did last year I don't think I'm gonna finish hundred and twenty six ever again in my life or even get near that it again I mean, I doubt it. That's just a lot of games. I really love video games. Clearly. I love playing games I love talking about games. I love making the ranking videos and sharing my experiences with all these games literally hundreds of games that I finish and I think it gives me a unique perspective Play to the beat of your own drum. Play how you want to play. Play the games you want to do. There's nobody that is stopping you from playing whatever you want to play and however you want to play. These are just some tips I've had for if you want to finish a ton of games because you've had a bunch of games. If you want to stick to one multiplayer game for years, do that. That's If you have fun with that, there's nothing to stop you. If you do that, though, I don't really know why you're on this video, especially at this point, but do what makes you happy. But no, I don't think I'm going to finish as many games this year as I did last year. That'd be pretty insane. And I want to play some big hefty RPGs this year. There were some that I held back on last year because I just wanted to finish as many games as I could. And that's kind of hard with RPGs. So, I mean, you could probably notice if you looked on my list, I didn't actually play a bunch of RPGs. But anyway, as far as 2022 goes, I hope it's a good year for not only me, but everyone else. It hasn't started out all that well, to be honest, but I think that uh, maybe, it'll, maybe it'll be a good year. Maybe it'll, it'll pick up and it'll be a really exciting, great year for video games, COVID, and everyone else and all that great stuff. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope everyone has a great day. Leave your comments about whatever you want to tell me. I always read the comments, love reading the comments. Here's to a better 2022, better year, better life, all that great stuff. And uh, I'm sure I'll see you next year with another Backlog Tales or another tips and tricks video on the Backlog. I mean, let me know if what you people think about this. Have a good one, everyone. See you later. Yeah, bricks.